Hello everybody, it is L.E. Diecast and it is hot, hot, hot here in Southern California again. And this is supposed to be the, the cool days that we're having right now. Again, it's over 100. But we're going to be taking a look at the Heritage series. Now this is the second run of these. Uh, I don't know how many of these they're going to make, to tell you the truth. Maybe they're coming out once a quarter, maybe? There are six cars in the second run, or sorry, eight cars in the second run here. There they are. I believe these are only available at Target. There is your information. They still say 2015 on them, so I think these are coming out later than planned. But uh, if you remember, there were eight in the last run. And now we've got another eight. Kind of funny, I found three of these, and they were sitting here for a week, and I couldn't really make a video with three of them. And as these things go, I'll make a video if I find them, and if I don't find them, they just end up getting thrown in a bag, and we use them for something else. But uh, I found the other five, and they were the only other five I had, so or that they had. So I found them all, but kind of weird how I found them. It was just pure luck that I found them. So there is one real popular one in this series. I think I've got a favorite, but let's get to it. This is the, <laughs> so that's not the name. Sorry, this is the uh, GT03 there in an aqua color. Very nice looking car. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. I don't care about the card art. Let's take a look. This one does have a plastic body. Not all of these have metal bo bases and um, metal body. Sorry, I said plastic body. It's got, a, it's got a metal top and a plastic base. But there is that GT03. Very nice looking car. Next up is the power panel. This is one of my favorite castings. Uh, I use it a lot with my customs. It's easy to deal with, fits a lot of tires. Nice looking car. This is not my favorite of the group and it is not my favorite of the power panels. But there is the power panel. I like the card art on these. They really stand out on the shelves. They look very retro. Uh, we'll take a look at the back, but these are based off of the older cars. Uh, What's that say? Power panel on it. There you go. Same on the other side. That's the power panel. You can see on the back these are cool toys inspired by Hot Wheels heritage of speed, power, performance, and fun. And I don't even remember the story of these. They, they were the Cars that were put out in a certain year, I think, if I remember right. Here is probably what is going to be the most popular one. That is the Bone Shaker, and I do like this Bone Shaker quite a bit. That is pretty nice. There's the card art for it. Let's see what it looks like. All that card art goes to waste with me. <laughs> There's the Bone Shaker with its skull on the front. This one with its roof. Some bone shakers don't have a roof. Here is the hammered coop. That is the next one. I have a feeling this one is not going to be one of the more popular ones. There is that hammered coop. Boy, I just noticed my fingernails are real dirty. I've been working out here in the garage all day. Sorry about that. We don't get manicures here at Ellie Diecast. There is that hammered coop. Metal top on that, plastic body, or, sorry, I got that all wrong. Metal top, metal base, get it right. By the way, I didn't tell you uh, the uh, bone shaker. It has a plastic base and a metal body. And the um, power panel has a plastic red base and a metal body. Okay, next up is the 80s Corvette. There he is. That one's probably going to be pretty popular. The 80s Corvette is a popular one. This one's really a nice one. It's got a lot of tampos on it. A lot of, a lot of lavery, livery. This one does have the little 
Uh, uh, <laughs> I just went brain dead. It does. It has that thing in the back. It's also got a fingerprint in the back. <laughs> There's the 80s Corvette. Very nice. 1984. Now, is that the year that we were uh, chasing after here? 1984? I really don't remember. This one has a metal base and a metal top. Next up is the Baja Beetle. Now, this is probably my favorite of the group. Whoops. Whoops. There is the Baja Beetle. Pretty sure that is going to be a metal base, metal body. I really like this one. That one might be my favorite. Baja Beetle. There is the artwork on it. Let's take a look at the Baja Beetle. There he is. That is a nice looking Baja Beetle. I think that's my favorite of this particular run. Yep, metal base, metal body. Two more to go. Next is that Porsche 930. There he is. And there is the artwork for that Porsche 930. And the Porsche 930, I bet, has a metal base and a metal body. Yep, metal base, metal body. Pretty nice. Last one is the Camaro IROC Z in white. There is its artwork. Take a look at that one. I bet it has a metal base, metal body as well. It does. Pretty nice looking cars in this set. Yeah, I think my favorite's that Baja Beetle. We'll get the whole set here for you. There you go. Tell me which one is your favorite. Keep an eye out for these at your local Target. They, uh, my Target has been selling these for $1.29. I don't know if that's the regular price. I seem to remember somebody telling me they were going to be $1.99, but uh, I've been getting them for $1.29, so they're not much more than the regular Hot Wheels at Target. But they seem to not get very many in. The popular models will probably be gone pretty quick. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.